Hi friends, it's Allison here from NicePeopleStamp.com. I hope you're having a fabulous day. Thank you so much for joining me. I have a fun crafty video to share with you featuring the Witty Sisms stamp set and we are going to jump right in and make a super fun card together. The two stamp sets we're using today are called Witty Sisms and Label Me Bold from the Spring 2020 catalog from Stampin' Up. The cardstock pieces I have here are a piece of Daffodil Delight that is four and three quarters by three and a half. I also have a crumb cake card base, and this is five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. I also have some scraps of different pieces of colored cardstock. I have some Whisper White, Real Red, Granny Apple Green, Mango Melody, Soft Suede, and a bit of daffodil. I brought in my die cutting and embossing machine. I'm going to emboss my piece of Daffodil Delight cardstock with the Basket Weave 3D embossing folder. So that's a really cool embossing folder. I love the detail and it's such a deep impression. It's awesome. I also have my stitched nested labels dies and I'm going to use one of these. This is the third largest, I believe. And I'm just going to die cut my piece of Whisper White cardstock. We have a really fun label for our card and I just love that stitched edge. So I brought in my scraps of cardstock and I'm going to be using some of the handheld punches to create a little bit of punch art. So the first piece I'm going to do is punch out a circle with the two inch circle punch from the Daffodil Delight cardstock. Next up I have the one and three eighths scallop circle and I'm going to punch out two of the soft suede. I've got the Tulip Builder Punch here, and I'm just going to punch out the top pieces of some of the Granny Apple Green cardstock. I don't need the whole bit of the Tulip, just the top. There we go. And then for the Sprig Punch, I need the Mango Melody, so I'll just slide that in there. And I also need Real Red. There we go. So I brought in a piece of my grid paper because I want to do some stamping on my circle. So I'm going to be stamping on this with the Daffodil Delight ink pad. And we're going to be stamping using Label Me Bold. We're using this stamp right here. So we'll just open that up. And we're just going to stamp all over our circle. Using the Tuxedo Black Memento ink, I want to stamp the stamp that says, talk about awesome. And look at how cute, I love this stamp. And then with our soft suede ink pad, we're going to stamp onto our label here. And this time we're using this stamp from Label Me Bold. And we're just gonna ink that up and stamp it just on the side here. So I have all my punched pieces here and we want to go and create our piece of punch art. So first thing I'm going to do is fold my circle, but I don't want to fold it completely in half. I want the front to be shorter than the back. Next up, I want to take this piece here. I'm just, I just ripped a bit off the sprig. So I just want to adhere it along the inside edge, just kind of like that. So let's get a little bit of our multi-purpose liquid glue and we'll add that on. We don't, don't need a ton, we're just sort of getting our pieces in place. So next up, we're going to add these circles in and I actually need to cut these down a bit. So I'll just bring in my scissors. I guess we could really just use one. So I'm just going to put a little bit of my adhesive and this is, so right now we have the cheese for our taco. That's this mango melody piece. And now we're adding the ground beef for our taco. It's already so cute, right? Let's add in, see, look at how cute already. Let's add in our lettuce. There we 
go. Two pieces of lettuce. And then I have this piece of real red here, and this is going to represent just a little bit of salsa coming in the background there. So let's just put a little bit of adhesive down and get our salsa in. we go. And now I can just add adhesive through the back side there and close it up and look at our cute taco. I love it. So now we have all of the pieces of our card and we're going to assemble. So I want to take this piece that we embossed with the basket weave embossing folder and I'm going to add some of my dimensionals to the back side. There we go. And we'll put that onto our card front. Next up, I'm going to add some of the Granny Apple Green Textured Weave Ribbon. So I'm just going to take a little length of it out there, cut it to size, and then I'll adhere it to the front. So I'm just going to put a little bit of snail on the back side here. put that in place. There we go. All right, so we have our label piece and this is the piece that I stamped that kind of swish on, but this is the sort of um, the shadow underneath our taco. So we are going to put our taco down onto the label. go. So we've got a little shadow under our taco. This is going to go onto our card front. So just put a few dimensionals on the back side. There we go. And of course we need our awesome sentiment from witty Sisms. So I'm just going to take my little mini trimmer and cut close to my sentiment. There we go. So I have taco bout. And we just need the word awesome. I want to cut that a little closer. There we go. I'll just turn it around. There we go. Cut a little bit off the edges and we're ready to put it onto our card front. So our last step is just putting our sentiment onto our card front. So we're going to do that with some dimensionals. So I'm just putting a dimensional on the back of each piece of our sentiment here. So we have taco boat and then the word awesome. And there you have it, a super cute little punch art taco on our handmade card. Thank you so much for being here with me. I hope you enjoyed today's card. You can shop for everything I use to make our great project in my online store at shopnicepeoplestamp.com. And please leave me a little love down in the comments. Let me know what you thought of this card and maybe leave me a suggestion for some videos you'd like to see in the future. I had such a great time crafting with you and I'll be back to craft with you again soon. Bye.